Ben is nearly ready. You come in. Yeah, I'll be down in a minute. No, I think you going back to university would be a really good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Let's hope so. A bit nervous, to be honest. Yeah? Mm hmm No, I'm going to be visiting you all the time. Mm. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Right. I'm just worried about my mum. No, oh, she's like calling me all the time. So me going away, she's just gonna want to visit constantly. She's been so overbearing since what happened. You really need to start getting more sleep, babe. Stop worrying. I'm fine. It's just a difficult time of year. Okay. Hmm. Just finish this off. Okay. <laughs> Don't be long there, okay? Mm. I'll be fine.
Why don't you open up? Come on. Open up. Karen? 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 Aisha, are you actually alone this time? Last time you lied to me. You knew I would come back, didn't you? You have ten seconds to open up this door, Aisha. Or I will have to open it myself. No, oh, please, please, please. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, Which service do you require? Please, please. Connect to you now. Police, what is your emergency? There's someone outside. Outside my house, they're going to come in. They're going to kill me. Do they have a weapon? They killed my boyfriend. Please, please go as soon as possible. Dispatching now. Someone will be there within the next ten minutes.
Nice to see you again, Aisha. <laughs> Exactly, didn't we get a moving van like normal people? You know what your mum's like. <laughs> Mum, what made you think that getting a Pomeranian of all puppies was going to help protect you in the country? Hi, lazy bones. Put them back into it. I thought you were getting into fitness at university. I don't see much fitness going on there. Mum, the sass. I come home for a nice relaxing break and instead I'm helping the two of you move. Oh, what a hard life you lead, Cathy. I oh, know. Pop her down and then chuck some of these boxes inside, will you? Oh, oh baby. And when I'm not being treated like a slave, I'm being treated like a baby. Oh, you'll always be Mummy's baby. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, it's okay, honey. It's okay. There's nothing there. did like him. Oh, put that away before Cathy sees it. Put it away. Oh, sweetheart, this needs to go in the bin. Exactly where it belongs. Hey, where should I put this one? Oh. Mm. You know, we are out of milk. Could you be a sweetheart and go to the local and grab some? But the local's five miles away. Mm. Take your mum's car, I'm sure she won't mind. Yeah, it's fine. Drive carefully. Mm -hmm. I'm desperate for a coffee. Oh, fine, I'll go. Do so you guys need anything else? Mm -hmm. Nothing for me. No. I'm all right, thanks. Okay. Bye, cutie. Bye. 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 <laughs> right, I think we need a glass. Mum, <laughs> come on. <laughs> you can tell me everything. <laughs> We've got all these boxes to unpack, and here we are, having a glass of red. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've taken time off work. Just relax, chill. That's what I think you should have done this whole time. Have you heard from him since? He calls Cathy, not me. I feel like a deranged woman on repeat. I don't see where it came from, or why he'd do this to me. I mean, I know things weren't perfect. Mandy. He cheated on me before, when what? Kathy was a little girl. Oh. It was a heat of the moment thing. He convinced me it was just one time after a few drinks. I didn't want to lose him. Sometimes you forgive people if you want to keep them in your life. Look. I will be here as long as you need me. You hear that? As long as you need me. Thank you, Mum. Mm. Okay.
we having? Tidy takeaway, of course. Oh, yes. What do you fancy? They're tidy. They're tidy. No, they're oh. Yeah, could I get pad thai with no prawns and extra chicken? Sure. Yes. Yum, yum. Wait, are we getting it delivered? We live too far out. I have to go collect it. Why didn't you ask me to get it when I was out? You were right to drive. No, it's just one. It'll be fine. Thanks, Mum. See you later. Love you. See you. Bye. Lovely. Love time. Mm. That's also your kind of vibe. Oh, my music taste hasn't changed. <laughs> Grand's got some beats. <laughs> Why the hell not? <laughs> Welcome you to the area. Who is it? I don't know. I don't know. The door. Um. Sorry. Who is it? Hello. How many have moved into the home? S sorry. Who is this? Sister Cindy Lamb. I have come to welcome you to the area. Did you meet the previous residents? Lovely family. Grand, do not open the door. She's lying. There weren't any previous residents. This house has been empty for years. Won't you let me in? Awfully cold outside. I thought you were moving in, Gift. Sorry, we were, um, we were just heading to bed. I will come back in the morning. Sure. Uh, see you later. Wouldn't you let me in to call a car home? Mum, bolt it. You all right? What's that? You look like you've seen a ghost. What is it? Oh, they, were, they were left outside. of you. Wine? Oh, yes. Celebration times? Mm. Not too much. Lots. Lots. Mm. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll 
are we toasting to? Okay. New beginnings. New puppy. From Pad Thai. Oh, yes. Cheers, girl. Cheers. <laughs> Morning. We're going to have a late start today. I thought I might pop out for a bit. Mari, where are we going? I thought I might pop out for a bit and you can have the morning to get settled. I'll be back soon. What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to get some milk, taking the views, that sort of thing. Okay, if you're sure. Oh, I'm taking your car. Yeah, fine. All right, see you later. Morning. Oh my God! Oh. oh, I am ever so sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm Ted, your neighbour. Oh, neighbour. <laughs> oh, is your house? I, I haven't seen any house around here. Oh, well, we're just uh, one and a half something miles down that dirt track there. Make a left, oh. and we're down there. Me and my daughter. This is Nancy. Oh. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> sorry. Oh God. I can't imagine how I came across. I didn't realise <laughs> other people lived here. Yeah, I know. It's a small place, right? Anyway, we just wanted to come say hi, and if you needed anything, we are literally just down the way. Oh, thank you so much. My mum's just popped out, and she's going to be living here for a while. My daughter's just got back from university. She'll be here for the month. Oh, you hear that, Nancy? Might be the first time in a decade that someone in your age range <laughs> is nearby. <laughs> oh, come in. Come in. <laughs> come, have a cup of tea, and um, you can meet Catherine. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to find you. Oh, no, no problem, Mum. I, uh, I just wanted to stop by. Uh, I had a nun come by my daughter's house last night. Uh, we just moved into the old Cotswold cottage. Oh, 
Congratulations. That, that place has been looking for a buyer for quite some time. Yeah, uh, thank you. No, um, I just um, wondered if she was about the nun. Look, um, well, I hate to say it, but we're no longer a working church. I'm just here to do the final closures on it. So there aren't any nuns in the area? Maybe in the next town. No, she came to welcome us in. It was as if she lived around here. I don't know what to tell you. Well, she isn't from this church. I'm the last one left. Right. OK, thank you. What did you say your name was, sorry? Oh, uh, Pam. Pamela Sears. You just look awfully familiar, that's all. Oh, I have one of those faces, I guess. I can't quite put my finger on it. Anyway, uh, thank you. Bye. Cindy. Sorry? Cindy Lamb? No. My name's Pamela. So yeah, I just thought, why the hell not just pick up from the city and move out here? Get away from the baggage. Baggage? You know, just cut ties, move on. Kathy, this is our neighbours. This is Ted. He lives down the road with his daughter Nancy. Hey. Hi. It's a beautiful home. Much different from the city, yeah? Yeah, I'll be moving back next month. I, I need some air. So, um, how long have you lived around here? You've got a spare? Don't worry, I won't tell. Didn't take you to be a smoker. I have quit a few times, but here I am. Can you light me up? Something with your dad? I've noticed it's not around. He cheated on my mum. Sorry. At least now we know who he really is. I mean, if this is what he's like, then we can just cut him out and move on. I know what it's like not to grow up without a parent in the picture. Yeah? My mum. She left me when I was younger. Don't really have much memory of her now. Sorry. Nothing can be changed, and like you said, just cut the cord and move on. Are there any other neighbours around here? I mean, miles in every direction, but no one nearby. Just because when I was going food last night, apparently a nun came by and scared the hell out of my mum and daughter. A nun? She came to welcome us or something. Did you not get the visit when you moved in? I, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty strange that a nun would show up out of the blue. Wait, did they let her in? I don't think so. I think they kept her outside. What is it? There was an incident not long ago. This girl was staying at a holiday home around here. Turns out the guy running the home didn't exactly own it. He was luring women to this home in the middle of nowhere to torment them and ultimately kill them. Oh my God. When did this happen? It all ended when this young girl escaped. She locked him in the local church. Police came, arrested him. He's still behind bars, but unfortunately it's, it's what this little town is famous for, the murders. And the girl, did she? She, she? she escaped. Oh my God. Rumor has it. That he dressed as a nun. But I, w I wouldn't worry about that. Like I said, he, he was caught. I mean, there was even an incident last year, a college group dressed up as nuns for a prank, and let me tell you, it didn't go down well with the locals.
These are our neighbours. This is Ted and his daughter, Nancy. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Been getting acquainted, have we? Oh, we were just outside having a smoke. She's joking. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Ignore my daughter and her bad sense of humour. That's fine. I know all about that. It was lovely meeting you all. Lovely to meet you. See you. See you, see you. You OK, Mum? Yeah. Shh. Not too much. Oh, I've got to let a girl live. Hey, Cappy. Exactly. And a girl has not lived without a full glass of rosé. Exactly. <laughs> so, this girl from earlier. Mm -mm. Wait, is this why you're getting me drunk? To try get me to spill my secret? Your grandmother always has a grand plan. <laughs> Well, she was kind of cute. Nancy, wasn't it? Nancy, mm. and yeah, I, I don't know, I only met her briefly. Well, you know when you know. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> I'm not gonna be jumping her bones anytime oh, soon. I should hope not. Mm. Uh, yeah, she was cute, um, but she works on a farm and in, she lives in the middle of nowhere. If I'm going to be dating someone, I want them to be a bit more hustle and bustle, you know? She wants a city type. Oh. Mm -hmm. Who is it? I don't know. It's an unknown number. Hello? I told your grandmother, and I will tell you. You must leave our land, for she is on it. There's not really anything here to suspect. I mean, you're miles away from anything. It, it could really have just been a prank call. A nun came to our house last night. There was something off about it, so I went to the local church today and nobody knew anything about any nuns in the area. Did this nun do anything particularly suspicious? She left a batch of cookies. Some may consider that a good deed. They had maggots in them. Look, without any real threat, I'm afraid there's nothing that we can do. Uh, she screamed abuse at me down the phone, insinuating she was going to kill me and my girls. <sighs> Look. Read this. I'm afraid there's, there isn't really anything that can be done. I mean, we can come out if you need us. We can keep tabs on your calls. That's it? Without any real threat, nine times out of ten, we just end up being prank calls. But those other women, what happened to them? That wasn't just a prank. So, you've been told what happened. It was over four years ago. It was a long time. What happened? In the local area, uh, a man called Daniel Copeland. Now, as a child, he and some of the other boys were abused in the convent by some of the carers. This all came out in the news when the boys spoke up. But the nuns were never brought to justice. They just walked free. Oh, my God, that's awful. When did that happen? 
back in the 70s. So what happened four years ago? Well, one of the victims, Daniel, he was taken to a mental institute because of the trauma that happened to him. Christ. He had a condition called disassociative identity disorder. He'd dress up as a nun that harmed him. And he'd hunt down the remaining nuns and he'd kill them. He'd manipulate their voices, truly believing that he was that of his last victim. Eventually, he started to lure women that he deemed to be evil to a cottage about 20 miles south of here, and he'd dress up as the nun, and he'd toy with them, eventually killing them. That is, until one girl survived. My neighbor Ted told me about her. I looked her up. Her name was Aisha Wadia. She was the only survivor. She was. Until recently. What do you mean? She's been found dead. Along with her boyfriend. But that was on the other side of the UK, near London. It was nowhere near here. And I have no reason to believe it's him, because he's safely behind bars. This is a small town. Pranks do get played. There are one or two nasty people out there and they've got too much time on their hands. The reason that this town has got its notoriety is the murders. Most of us would just like to forget about that. Are you still up? Couldn't sleep. Are you okay? I am fine. I've always had trouble sleeping. It has nothing to do with what happened today. Yeah, it's all right to admit you're afraid. I'm fine. Right, I'm going to bed. And so should you. <laughs>
Julie. Hey She was here. She was right here. She'll be around here somewhere. <sighs> the door was left open. What? The door. It was left open last night. I've just been out calling for her. No. No, I know. I checked before I went to bed last night. It was locked. M maybe you were tired or something. I don't know. She'll be all right. I have to go. Where to? I have to see Nancy. Look, don't worry. I'll go out and look for her later. She's a puppy. She's curious. Mm. See you. You didn't strike me as being the religious type. Something's not right. What do you mean? It's my grandmother. Ever since we've come here, she's been acting strange. She's been hiding something. I went through her albums the other day and there was this picture of her with really religious parents and there was another one of her training to become a nun. What's the issue with that? Well, because she's never mentioned this our entire life. Like, she told me that her mother died during childbirth and her father ran off with another woman. She told me and my mum she was an orphan. And why would she lie about that? Exactly. There's something from her past she's hiding, something she doesn't want me to know. And coming to a church will help with cause? Because I found this. This is the church trained at. It's one of the few that were listed. This isn't a work at church, right? My grandmother came the other day and said she saw a priest. Okay, this is freaking me out. What's the plan? I'm trying to work that out myself. Hello? Hi. We're closed. Could I ask what you're doing here? My grandmother came the other day. New neighbors. Something like that. Uh, we're no longer a working church. I hate to say it. Um, I was wondering if I could ask you something. Go on. Um, do you know this woman? Sister Cindy Lamb. You know this woman. This is my grandmother, Pamela Sears. That isn't Pamela Sears. Really, you'll have to leave. 
We're no longer a working church. I'm leaving today. Please tell me what's going on. I need to know. Look at the sisterhood crimes that happened in the area. The people around here don't want to remember the awful crimes that happened. They want to forget. You'll find it. Chill out, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hello? Yes, who is it? Identify yourself, please. I was at your neighbor's house. They told me I should come by. They had run out of sugar. Right, I don't know who you are. But if you keep on like this, you're going to find yourself in trouble soon. The sinners will be named for their crimes. Justice will be served. Right, get off my property before I call the police. sure whatever truth you're about to uncover, you actually want to know it? If it's to do with my family, then yeah, I want to know. Oh, God. This 
that's it? That's the priest. Are you sure? I've got to get out of here. What is it? Who's outside? Nancy! Happy, where are you going? To Nancy's. But dinner's nearly ready. Oh, I haven't ran out. Please. Don't go. It's not safe. It's safer than being in here. for driving. It's fine. I just can't be around her right now. Just figure it out tonight. It's a lot to take in. Wait, don't answer it. Who is it? I've come by to check in on your father. That's the same woman who came to my house the other night. Don't open the door. He's not in right now. Yes, he is. I was with him just earlier. In your home. He asked me to check by this afternoon. He had a nasty accident. Do open the door. It's awfully cold out here. Why were you with my dad? Sorry. Come on, let me in now. Who exactly are you? Sister Cindy Lamb. What do you want? Dinner. Din, din, din. Dinner is she that protects. 
You have evil blood running through your veins. Tried to warn you. Tried to tell you. No one listened. Your name is not Cindy Lamb. Oh, I see him. There he is. Your father, in your living room, I see him now. There he is, watching me. Where's my dad? You should tell him not to be so rude, to stare at a lady. Where is he? Standing in your living room. Go see for yourself. <laughs> I don't appreciate how he is staring at me. Now you know the truth about your perfect little family. Time to repent.
Why did Cathy storm out for you like that? And what does she mean, safer than in here? You won't be calling the police tonight. We have something to settle. Our sisterhood. You must be the devil's spawn. brought this on herself. A day of reckoning was always debted to your family. Get away from the door! And when the time is right, run and don't look back. God, Kathy, don't leave. It's my daughter down there. And you are mine. I can't leave her, Mum.
forever. We stick together throughout our sins. We hide our dirty secrets, bury them deep together. We hide them for no one to see. No need for tears, sister. What has been done can be hidden. Your secret is safe with us. Tell me your sins, sister. <laughs>
confess. Time to confess, sister. Don't. Tell them what you did. I was a nun. When I was younger. Sister Cindy Lamb. I had my name changed after what happened. I was too much of a coward. I, I turned a blind eye to what they were doing to those little boys. My mother belonged to a church. It's where she met my father. He was a lay preacher. It was always expected that I would become a nun. You told me that your brother died. I lied. To keep the secret of what your family was involved in, I lied. I tried, I tried to move on to start afresh. What did the nuns do? boys. Punished them. Recorded them. John. That's your name, isn't it? It took me a while to figure it out. And this morning I realized it was you. Do anything to those boys. Oh, God. <laughs> she got away with it. They all got away with it at that convent. Nobody was convicted of their crimes. And the victims just had to get on with their lives, like nothing happened. We've taken punishment into our own hands, as did Dan. We took it into our own hands once Dan was wrongly convicted. We carried on where he left off. Hunting anyone who got away with it. Anyone who should have been sinned for their crimes. <laughs> sister Cindy Lamb is the final sister. You killed them all. God will judge them now. For what you did, a punishment must be made. No, 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 not my granddaughter, no, please, no, 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 no! You're gonna watch, just like you made me watch. No! I can't imagine what you had to go through. 
what they made you do. Do you understand? I do. No one ever understands the pain that we've been through. The suffering that's filled our minds for years after. And I want to help. How? To end what you started. To end all the suffering and the memories of what they did. But with her death, it will be over. The memories will filter away. You will live in safety, knowing that they will never hurt you again. <laughs> it's, it's been in my head for so long. I understand. And what they did was wrong. Kathy. Finish this. What you did start. And you have to end it. No. <gasps> You got what you deserved. Thank you.